big time of the season now, big game this, isn't it? Yeah, massive, yeah. Um, we seem to say that every week at the moment. Um, but in the context of our season, this is this is the biggest. Um, you know, obviously, Glasgow pushing, uh, you know, for uh, for some for some silverware and and going particularly well. So they did to Manchester a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, uh, playing with a lot of confidence. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's going to be a toughie. Yeah. How much is it a battle of nerves the last three games? Because there's a mental side to it all as well, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, especially with. Um, with Teams that haven't really got anything to play for. Yeah. You know, their um, their season's over. They just they just come out and play a bit. Where you know pr the pressure is is on us really. Um, not so much on Friday because we we both got something to play for. But yeah, I think we're not. There's not going to be many chances out there. So whoever holds their nerve and, and takes those chances when uh, when they do arise will be uh, victorious on the night. And you've got the characters in the dressing room. You think to handle the pressure, do you, in the running? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Um, some some young guys, but some young guys that have been. Exposed to a lot of uh, lot of rugby, a lot of high level rugby, and some pressure situations. You know, um, mm. World Cup semi finals and and uh, Six Nations deciders and the like. So uh, I think we're we're more than equipped. Beating Glasgow sets you up for the next two games, then, doesn't it? Really, you know, that's the big one on paper. Looking at it, definitely, yeah, yeah. Um, and we've uh, we missed out on a couple of bonus points the last couple of weeks, but uh, this is this is uh, this is huge for our for our ambitions and uh, and finishing in the top four. To end your ambitions if you don't win this match? Uh, I don't know really. I'm not sure what the implications are mathematically well, and all that. Yeah, I think so, yeah. But, but then again, with the, you know, the two teams that haven't really got much to play for apart from uh, you know, trying to up upset our apple cart, so mm -hmm. we're not taking anything for granted with, uh, with, yeah. the, with the last two fixtures. Um, but well, there's a derby as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Welsh derby, so mm -hmm. intensity will obviously be through the roof for that. Have you been surprised by how well Glasgow have done this year? Um, no, not particularly. When you look at look at uh, them on paper, um, and S Scotland did uh, think better than even even they expected, really, in the Six Nations, and you know a few of those are uh, are with Glasgow. So um, it's no no coincidence as a transfer over, really. And um, yeah, some of the you know some of the squad players have. Have forced their way into that Scotland squad from from the performances with Glasgow, so there's no uh, no surprises really. They're a good team that like to play uh, like to play rugby and play more more rugby than they have done in the past. Have you thought about uh, Wales tour to Japan in the summer and your own involvement in that potentially? Uh, no, not particularly. No, um, you know, not not being involved in Six Nations and and then bringing in some uh, some of the young young back rowers who are playing particularly well in the other regions. You know, James King. Josh Navidi, Andres, who's newly qualified. Um, I don't know, don't know where I stand in that uh, pecking order at the moment, and I'm not, I'm not thinking about it too much. It, it felt it, it, not just for you, but generally this is for players. This is a carrot, isn't it? Now the national tours plus the Lions, I guess. Yeah, so yeah, obviously. The there's plenty to play for. As well, you already got something to play for, so we'll wait, but Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, lots, lots still to play for. Even if you, yeah, if you, if you league. Uh, yeah. If the league's every yeah. hands, really, yeah, still, uh, still a lot to play for. What would it mean to the club to claim some silverware? Because it's been a while, hasn't it, before you won everything? Yeah, too long, really, too long. Um, you know, finishing fifth the last couple of seasons has just kind of been agonisingly close, but not quite haven't done enough. And you know, we've done a lot of hard work this year, as as we do every year. But um, feel that a little bit closer. And uh, you know, if we if we didn't quite make it, I think this would be the the toughest year of them all. Because it was in our hands, really. What about uh, their back row? Yeah, playing particularly well. Yeah, you know, Johnny Barkley's uh, come back into uh, to some great forms. We've seen from him over the past few years. Um, you know, Brian Wilson has uh, got himself into got himself into the Scottish squad on the back of his performances. He's big, uh, a big, big go-to man for them. And uh, obviously, with Josh Strauss playing a lot at the moment he's uh, he's an experienced guy who um, you know really adds to to their pack so uh, it'll be a great battle like um, you know, up there with the uh, with the with the killer bees of uh, years gone by yeah I think their last visit Glasgow's last visit to Wales they put 60 points on the dragons yeah. so there's a warning shot there isn't it? yeah yeah um, so obviously uh, Statement of of their intent, like I said, they like to play uh, a bit more rugby than they have done yeah, the past, past few seasons. Yeah, 
he, uh, he likes to check it about a bit, so we're obviously wary of that, but I don't think they'll have as many opportunities no. on the weekend. Oh, good, good, good game, on it, to play in. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, you know, if we can improve our defensive performance from from what we showed the last couple of weeks with uh, with the intent that we showed at the Millennium, I think uh, should be a thriller. Yeah. Gareth, does this make or break in a way? You know, if you win this, you, you've got a really, really good chance of getting through. If you don't win this, you question marks. I think obviously yeah, we need a need a win really. It's uh, so tight at the top and you know, with the sides round us performing quite well as in, in terms of who's going into that playoff spot. I think this probably could be classed as a, a must win. I don't think I'd fancy our position if things didn't go that way and I think this it's in our hands and home game, albeit against a quality out for the vying for the top spot. But we you know we, we see this as a, definitely a very important game in terms of our Playoff uh, push. I mean, the other games people talk about bonus points, but that's probably not the issue this week. No, I, I don't think I don't ever talk about them. You know, you, you see, automatically you play a side at the bottom of the league, or you know, and I've always said this league's really competitive, and especially towards the end of the seasons, games start to open up a little bit, and you know, can go to you know in, in your favour or you know, sort of disadvantage but we're just concentrating on you know just getting a W and like I said it's in our hands if if something did come in terms of a bonus point and we're we you know we're aware that we need to make sure we keep playing for the full eighty minutes and how important the bonus point can be but our main focus for these next three games is just a win. When you see them putting fifty points on Munster, is that a bit of a shock to the system almost? Obviously, in any side that puts 50 points on Munster is a, is a great achievement for one, and obviously it makes you take note of their performance as well. But uh, I'm sure that the way Munster reacted last week is uh, shows that probably they wouldn't quite at the races that day against Glasgow. And if you're not, that's exactly what they're going to do to you. And you know we're going to take note of that this week, and you know hopefully we've we studied where where Glasgow have been effective and uh, where we need to brush up on and uh, we boys are working really hard to make sure that we've got everything we can in our army to do the best we can in terms of our playoff push. And there's a fair bit of the Scotland back line against the Wales back line out wide isn't it? You know, more than most games this game can, can be won and lost there. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's like you said it's obviously returning internationals that, that have helped both the teams but you know, this is a this is a squad effort, and uh, I'm sure that uh, you know this, it'll it'll be seen in those international guys' eyes as a Scarlets versus Glasgow game, and, and nothing further than that. Regardless of who they play for in terms of the internationals, it's, it's about us, you know, as a collective 23 taking on their 23, regardless of you know internationals and you know personal battles. It's it's, it's not going to be won in in that way, I'm sure. A lot of Munster's downfall came down to interceptions. Is that something that you? You're looking up, trying to think about your your the plays that you run and how they might work. Yeah, you know the way they Glasgow defend allow them to have those opportunities, but also coming with defending like that is you know that holds its own risks as well. So it's up to us to analyse you know where we think that we can get some mileage in terms of one preventing that happening and also being effective into in terms of the way they do defend. So we've you know we've obviously spent a lot of time looking at that this week and you know. Uh, Mark Jones has spent a lot of time on our attacking game, ensuring that maybe the, the, you know we're we're fully equipped in terms of the way they defend and preventing the, you know their individuals, which I've got a few that you know like to have that trait in their game, making sure that we we're fully aware of that and that we don't provide them with those opportunities. Really, how different are they from the side you played at the start of the season? I think the side have, have, have always had you know good quality. They've made some good quality signings, and they're continuing to do so and bring in some home you know home bred people back from leagues other than you know you know into the Rabo and back to Scotland. But you know, Glasgow uh, f for the last couple of years you know got stronger and stronger. And like I said, I don't think there's an easy game in this league at the moment. And they've grown with confidence. They've won games. They're winning away from home. And you know you can see that they're a side full of confidence with with a lot of quality as well, which is why they are where they are. I'd say. It's one of those funny things that Wales did so well in the Six Nations, Scotland did so badly. But probably if you picked a form side over the last two months, probably would be be Glasgow in this competition. Yeah, it, like I said, it's internationals one thing, and, and and you know your club rugby is something completely different. It's a completely different 
coaching set a completely different environment and a com- completely different uh, group of players you know uh, and I think that uh, like you said uh, Glasgow are continuing to improve as a squad and uh, they'll only be strengthened like we are when our internationals return so I don't think it's something you can compare and uh, it certainly doesn't happen you know the, the, the Welsh team did what they did but that that's done and it's the next chapter in the and the, these guys, the international guys, season, and, and they're fully focused on, you know, the Scarlets getting into the playoffs, and that that's that's where it ends, really. You did the job you needed to against the Dragons at the stadium, but this is going to be a very different challenge. How do you assess the position that, that you're in as a Scarlet? Yeah, it's, like you said, it, you know, it's the, that game at the stadium was always going to be an occasion where everyone raised their game. We we were under no illusions that the, the Dragons had a you know what what was a really bad result for those a week before, and I, I fully expected exactly what happened. We knew we were in for a tough game. We're probably a little bit of a victim of playing too much in the first half, and you know looking back at it, maybe if we'd have been a little bit more clinical, could have come from it with a bonus point, but it wasn't to be. We got we, we got the do, the job done, and but we know that our performance needs to go up another level. Now we're we're facing sides nearer the top of the league rather than the bottom. So you know we just got to keep doing what we you know we're doing well and, and try and replicate that in on the field, which is there's no room for error, and we we fully understand that.